Hi, we're going to make an acceleration demonstration where you can actually tell that as an object falls, it speeds up and goes faster and faster and faster, rather than traveling at a constant speed. I want to make it out of two cookie sheets that I bought from Walmart for $2 for four, some nuts and some string. And we're going to start off by drilling a hole in the cookie sheet and then put a bolt through it to connect everything together. Okay, I'm just going to take my cookie sheet and I want to drill a hole in the center for the string to go through. You don't have to be exact. You can be more picky than I am. And you want to make sure that there's no burrs on the back. So you might want to just kind of clean that off a little bit. But you want to make two of these. One for the evenly spaced bolts or nuts, and then one for the acceleration spacing. Okay, the height of my ceiling is about 5 feet 10 inches or 270 centimeters. So to get the spacing right on where I'm going to place the nuts, for the evenly spaced one, I just took that number and divided by 5 and used that as my multiple. So 270 divided by 5 is 54 centimeters, and so I just went up multiples of 54. For the acceleration side, since time is squared, the first one went, I divided by 25 because time is squared. And so that gave me a base of 10.8 centimeters. And then for the next one, I multiply by 4, and then multiply by 9, 16, 25 to get my spacing for the nuts for the acceleration part. So they will hit at even times. Okay, I have a small screw with a bolt through it that I want to use as an anchor for the inside so the string doesn't pull through. And I want to set it up so that the, the nuts hit the top of this in order to make the most sound. So I want to put that through on the bottom. Now I'm not going to cut my string just yet. I know that the overall length needs to be a certain amount, but with me tying knots and stuff like that, I don't know exactly what I'll end up being. So I want to feed this through. Again, make sure that you've cleaned off any burrs or stuff on there. And I want to tie it to this bolt. And I'll probably fast forward some of these spots that are kind of boring with me just working on something. So you may see me speed up very quickly. Okay, you just want that knot good enough so it doesn't pull through. So it stops right there. It doesn't pull through. Now we need to start doing our measurements. And I'm going to do the one that's evenly spaced first. And so according to my calculations here, I want a bolt every 54 centimeters. So I want to keep that pulled tight. And I want to have about 54 centimeters. So we can put this down. And take the meter stick. And I want to place it there. And I want that first bolt to be here at 54. I'm going to have to actually cut the string. I need to fill it, fill it through the entire length. So, I want to make sure that I have more than enough. So I'll pull out a lot of string. If you're more careful, you should measure it, but I am going to pull it through. If mine's so short, or if mine's too short, I'll just make another video. There we go. Feed that one through. And I want to place one of these every 54 centimeters. So I'm going to do a speed up in order to cut down on the length of this video.
Okay, so I've got these done. I want to use the same process in putting the acceleration spacing in where I'm doing 1, 4, 9, 16, 24 on my distance. And I can cut this off a little bit so I have some, I don't have as much slack at the end. All right, so I'll be right back with the other finished one. From finishing the second one, so this one nearest the bottom of the screen, that's the one where the spacing is for acceleration. The one on top is the one for that the spacing is evenly spaced. And so we've got them laid out here so that we can see all of it. Now the next thing is to actually test them. So I want to drop them and hopefully on one you'll hear an evenly spaced time and that's for the acceleration one and then for the one that's evenly spaced they actually should be picking up as they hit because that last one's going to be going faster so it'll cover that distance quicker while this one since the spacing increases and it's accelerating so it should take the same time to travel each segment distance let's give it a go okay we're going to start off with the one that the bolts are evenly spaced and see what they sound like so here we go See how they spit it? Now let's try the one with the bolts or the nuts are closer together at the bottom and further apart as they go up. Listen to the impacts now. So for those that do uh, motion maps, this is a good representation of motion maps. So here we go. Listen to the impacts. One bounce over. But as you can see, now you can visually show them that as an object accelerates, it goes faster and faster and faster, and so the distance it covers is larger and larger and larger. Thank you, and uh, tune in again for some more videos. Bye.